so my name's Jane and I'm Scottish. I've got a really complex relationship with the idea of home. It kind of depends where it... It depends who I'm talking to about it. I'm from Scotland, but I haven't lived there since I was 21. Then I lived in London and then I lived in Cambodia. And so sometimes if people ask me where my home is, I'll say it's London because that's where I live right now. Or people will ask me where I'm from. And I say, well, I'm Scottish, but I live in London. But there's also a big part of me where I feel most comfortable in Cambodia because I was there for so long and that's where most of my friends are or were. So there's this kind of complex idea of where is home or is home a state of mind. Because I really miss Phnom Penh a lot of the time, but then the people that I knew in Phnom Penh aren't there anymore. Actually, more of them are in New York and in London than anywhere else. So the Phnom Penh home that I miss doesn't exist anymore. It's kind of here instead. So, being Scottish, I don't know, like I'm rural, I grew up on a farm. I'm kind of urban and I've lived in capital cities almost all my adult life. I like the sea. That's one of the few things that I really hold on to. Like I like to be near the sea. I go crazy if I don't get to water regularly. And I probably couldn't live in a landlocked country. I'd be happy not to live in the countryside ever again, but I do need to get to the sea. I don't know. I like tall buildings rather than farmhouses, even though I'm rural. I don't know what I think about Scottish independence. For me, it's more important to be part of Europe than it is to be part of Scotland. So I guess I'd say I'm Scottish and European. British isn't really important to me at all. I'm from the south of Scotland, so I don't speak Gaelic. I've never spoken Gaelic. And it wasn't until about a year ago that I found out that Gaelic had ever been spoken in the area where I'm from. Apparently it was systematically removed about 100 years ago, but nobody I knew spoke it. I can speak Khmer. It's a kind of funny part of my identity. My second language is a language that's only spoken by 10 million people. My Khmer friends sometimes would say that they think I'm, like that I was Cambodian in a previous life because I'm so Khmer, but I think that's them just being flattering. So I don't know, identity is a complicated thing. <laughs>